Hello, in this video I'm going to pick back up on the earlier legal hold video and this time we're going to get into the legal hold F-lock feature. So what we're going to need to do in order to activate the F-lock feature at your site is first we need to edit your WorldOx INI file. And one way we can do that is from WD Admin, we can pull down the help menu and select about. And then from here, we can hit the control and the D key. And this will bring up a dialog that lists locations to files and folders for WorldOx. If I go right below this line, you see WorldOx.ini main equals, and it points to your main WorldOx INI file. If I double click on this, it'll actually launch your WorldOx INI file into Notepad. So that way you don't have to go through Windows Explorer and navigate to your WorldOx folder on the network and find the file and open it that way. Now what we need to do is add a line of syntax in here. Now if you're not comfortable adding this line or editing the WorldOx INI file, then you can contact WorldOx Tech Support and they'll add this line to your WorldOx INI for you. The only thing I'd say is before you do this, just make sure you got a backup of your WorldOx INI file just in case something should go wrong when you're doing this. You've got a backup that you can uh, recover from. So I'm going to pull on the edit menu and do a find and I want to look for the word debug to get to the debug section. Oh, searching up, I need to search down. Okay, so there we go, I found the debug section. And I wanna look in here, and I'm looking for a switch called daylight equals one. And I don't see it in here, so I need to add that. So I'm just gonna put my mouse cursor at the end of the debug section and hit enter. And I'm gonna type the word daylight and it's going to be a capital D, capital L, so D-A-Y with the D capitalized and a capital L with the word light. And I want to set that equal to 1. And I'll just hit the enter key and then hit my delete key to bring that line back up. And now I'm going to save my WorldOx INI file. So now I have that in there. That lets WorldOx know that we want to use the F-lock feature at this site. Now I'm going to go into group security. And in the earlier video on legal hold, I created this legal hold group. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this legal hold group allow permissions to the F-lock feature. So I'm just going to highlight the legal hold group here. Go to features and I'm going to scroll down until I get to the legal hold class and I'm going to check the box next to legal hold set F lock and I'm going to allow it to this group. Now this is definitely a feature that you do not want to give to all of your users because once you set the F lock on a document it permanently locks it. You notice there's no legal hold unlock F lock or legal hold remove F lock. Once you place the lock on that file and set it to read only, it's a read only indefinitely and there's no way to remove that from the file. And typically you're using this because you have to meet some type of regulatory compliance on a document and it can no longer be edited or worked on once it reaches a certain point. Um, so that's the purpose of this feature. So you definitely do not want to let your users, by default out of the box, this feature is turned off to everyone. So if I go into the group everyone, and I showed this in the previous video, and go to features, and I'll go to features blocked and scroll down, I can see that legal hold F lock is blocked from everyone. Okay, so we've added the legal hold, uh, the F lock to the legal hold group. Now I just need to save my changes. And now I'm going to exit out of WD Admin. I'm going to log in on another PC as one of those users and show you how the F-Lock feature works. Okay, I'm now logged on as one of the users in the Legal Hold group. And I have WorldOx up and running. And I've got a document here that I need to place the F-Lock on. So right here I'm going to highlight this file, I'm going to pull down the file menu, and under legal hold I'm going to see an F-lock option. And I'll select that. 
Now notice it gives you an explanation here. The, this file and all prior versions, if any, will be made read-only for regulatory reasons. Once done, it cannot legally be undone. So once you proceed on this, there is no undo switch. There is no remove F-lock, undo F-lock. It's set. So at this point, the file would be locked, and I'll go ahead and proceed with that. Let you see the details if you want. And notice it puts an icon in the version column. So it's got this little like a little floppy disk icon with the lock symbol next to it. And lets you know that F-lock's been applied to that file. At this point, if I wanted to open this file and I double clicked on it, it'll let me open a read-only copy. Um, so if you want to view it, print it, things like that, but you cannot edit it or modify it, make changes to it. Um, it's locked at that point. So if for some reason you needed to get a copy of this to make changes to, you'd have to open it up, do a save as, and save it as a brand new document, and then work on that one, because you're not going to be able to work on this, and there's no way to remove this F-lock. So just be very cautious if you're going to use this at your site, and please restrict who you're going to give access to apply this uh, to your file. So. Real quick, that's what I wanted to show you is that's how you would apply it. And once it's applied, there's no undo or remove option for it.